future of digital adult learning is here. Greetings. Please allow me a few moments to discuss Bellwether Research Institute's data policies. My talk has three objectives. Provide context by describing our sustainable living project and its data sources. Provide an overview of our data policy. Share adult learning qualitative best practices. Let me tell you about our Bellwether Research Institute. The Research Institute is funded by Bellwether Services, a global advisory firm based in Atlanta, Georgia. Our research team is focused on developing a consumer products industry greenhouse gas emissions model that helps save 3.7 million lives. Bellwether has a global research delivery model. Our pilot research project titled 770 Million Citizen Sustainable Living Idea Challenge utilized its digital learning ecosystem to reach, engage, and educate adult learners. The pilot's planned final deliverable was new business processes that could help save 3.7 million lives by reducing consumer products group greenhouse gas emissions. During implementation, our project experienced a few challenges. We discovered two blind spots consumer comprehension issues, and our research team's limited CPG ecosystem evaluation skills. We apply the digital bloom theory to solve of adult learning challenge. Clearly, this project has two data sources, adult learners and research staff. Throughout our sustainable living challenge pilot project, we protected our learners with our rigorous institutional review board policy. It is our policy to reduce unreasonable risk or harm during the conduct of program-related research. Our certified principal researcher is tasked to follow the ethical principles and guidelines established by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Regulations, 45 CFR 46. Our policy includes adult learner and research staff data and material. First, we analyzed and designed personalized curriculum for the following professions, healthcare, logistics, accounting, and manufacturing. Second, we delivered targeted application training with online sessions or blogs. Lastly, in order to achieve Bloom's creating or synthesis, we facilitated several testimonial videos. We coded and protected all personalized and copyright learner data. First, a pair of research assistants conducted a pilot blogging across two platforms, WeChat and LinkedIn. Second, in order to illustrate the highest level of learning, a pair of research assistants prepared a short best practice video. Please see our illustrated videos. We coded and protected all personalized and copyright learner data. In summary, we exercised our data policy across 28 digital adult learning activities. We found that our organizational IRB policy did not prevent us from applying Bloom's digital taxonomy, nor delivering personalized training across the consumer products group greenhouse gas emissions ecosystem. Mm -hmm.